Hello friends welcome okay now let me just uncomment again um uh, okay now let's see how this uh, loop working so currently like uh, this is the, the uh, list of the post here okay so if you go through the themes i'm using 2021 theme uh, currently in my local if you go to the index.php file so this is the uh, main template file load in the wordpress okay uh, for the uh, uh, for the block archive page okay so uh, in this page you can see the have post and the the post and don't worry if you don't if uh, till date if you if you are watching this video and you are on uh, haven't do, uh, do, uh, don't know about the theme development then don't worry about it uh, you can easily learn the theme development from the developers dot wordpress uh, developer dot wordpress dot org uh, theme uh, hand, hand development handbook page or oh, sorry handbook okay so uh, for now this is the have post so it will just sequester the current uh, is there any post found in the uh, by the wordpress when it's uh, loading this uh, home uh, block archive page the home page if it's uh, there is a post available then it will just in a while loop it will just it it will keep uh, the while loop will keep uh, continue executing until all the posts have been fine okay so if you check the have post function methods you can see the have post it calling the have post method of the wp query class or so i will just go through the class wp query and search here so you can check whether the current post is another property it will just check whether the post count so total post count has n plus one is less than so it will just do some things uh, like checking and if it's there if there is a post available then it will just return to because current post by default is a zero so zero plus one is one less than post count so if there is a we are displaying total 10 posts per page so uh, one less than 10 so definitely it's a uh, true so there is a post available in the like a uh, uh, fast from the database so it will return through it will return through and it will just uh, uh, go into while loop now while loop in the save function will call because we need to ex keep executing the while, while loop until all the posts we displayed from the loop okay from all the uh, the post array so the in the have post it will also return the true and then it will call a the post function so in the the post function you can uh, the the post function all on again calling the the post method of the wp query so if you go here okay so before that i forgot one thing is that uh, have post also executes uh, like uh, uh, the do action reference and it's about hooks so if the uh, loop is ending then it will call the loop and uh, uh, uh loop and action so these are the action loop no results if there is no post found so this action can be useful uh during the development if you want to achieve something during the looping of the uh, post in the uh, in the template are in the templates okay so this one thing okay so now go to the the post function here okay so in the dub post you can see the global variable so whenever the dub post function call it will fetch the next post from the array and um, then it will set it the uh, global dollar post variable and it will set up the post data okay so and it will also set that if we are in the loop so in the loop property will be set and these are all these um, like uh, behind the scenes things you can uh, you can check later on after this video and there is another loop start uh, action will be called if the current post is a minus one okay and because add indexing array index start from the zeros it will just a minus one okay so it by default current uh, until the loop is start, loop is started the current post property uh, will be minus one okay and then it will get a next post if you go through here it will just increase the current post value so it, now from minus one it will become a zero and then it will get uh, the zero index post from the post property okay so uh, in the front end we have seen we have checked that the post uh, property have the array of all the all the individual posts fetched from the database so it will set that post uh, ob uh, property and then it will just return it okay and when it's uh, returned um, then uh, the post function uh, will just set the global variable and it will call the setup post data so it will just set the post so it will fetch the get post function and do a few things like setting all the properties here call the the post action as well so you can if you want to do something then you can do on the post action okay and it will just return a true so it will set up the data and then when this template parts call or whether in the template was to get the title or let me open that co template parts content 
template parts content and then content.php file okay so this uh, file will be executed and it will added all this article tag then it it so here you can see that is singular so based on this uh, if it's a singular then call this h1 if it's not then it will be you will be it will be used by the s2 so same template will be used to render the content uh, uh, to the in the block archive page also on the single post page but on the single page we want to use h1 tag for the post title but on uh, on the archive pages we want to use s2 so based on this uh, conditional tags you can you can do that okay so this that's why it's very helpful and we we should as a developer we should know that how this conditional tags working how uh, the conditional tags looking for the uh, properties of the wp query uh, object class object and how that property is set by the wp query based on that url structure okay and then it uses the doc content so these are the, the template text we can call and you can see that we are not passing any id or something and that's why because like when you call this the title so it will get the title so it will get the title from the post variable and if the it did not exist then it will get get from the uh, global post okay and that's why it's working so here in the uh, in the wp class query you can see that uh, we are also setting up uh, we are also setting up the global uh, global dollar post so if the, those template text the title get the title or the, the content or get the content function call without pass without passing the arguments of the post then it will rely on the global post variable and that's why here uh, in the index.php or the content post uh, template a uh, content template we don't have to pass it because uh, during the loop we have already set the current post to the global post and uh, and and this template text will get the data from the global post variable okay so th this is the way uh, the way the have post working okay and the post function will cop uh, uh, like uh, keep executing the code and it will just uh, do uh, uh, like in the loop and have post will just keep checking whether the current post uh, current post value is equal to the total po total post count found okay total post found if it's uh, both are same then the loop is end and then uh, it will continue uh, executing the code after that loop okay so this is the way the loops are working and like these loops uh, we have talked about global uh, you know global wp query what if we are executing some custom wp query how about that so if you go to here in the page you this is a standard loop so you can you can create a custom wp query object with the given arguments like whatever the arguments you want to pass out the parameters and then you can call the uh, uh, that object and call the have post method or the post method and it will set uh, and it will it will work the same with uh, uh, all the loop okay and you can uh, you can use the conditional tags uh, by fetching the data but at the end you have to restore the original post data why because uh, in the in the same in the same all the same request uh, already there is a wp uh, query global query created and executed by the wordpress and it's uh, using the global global dollar post variable as well for the for the standard loop and if you are having a custom loop using the custom wp query then any and the dollar post will uh, set your post data custom uh, whatever the post data you have fetched from the database it will set to the global dollar post variable okay and if you do not reset the post data then then that post uh, the uh, the previous dollar post value will not be used in in other uh, further execution and it may create a problem i have seen those problem uh, like uh, uh, you have used this uh, standard loop uh, on the custom wp query and you have modified the global dollar post variable using the post function and but later on uh, later in execution you are getting that i uh, you are not getting the actual the current post data which is fetched by the wordpress or set by the wordpress and that's why and that's why uh, we uh, we have to call this wp reset post data and to avoid avoid the things what you can do is like uh, you can do another thing and i i personally prefer that so for example I, let me just close this all the templates here okay so here what i can do is uh, I have copy paste these things okay and i will modify this a uh, little bit so instead of uh, uh, relying on a global variable what i can do is that uh, i will just simply check whether it's not empty uh, so we know that uh, we have post property okay so 
we will just check that if it's the query and i will just check with the posts okay so uh, post property is uh, is an array of the all the posts i will just check whether if it's empty or not if it's not empty then i will just simply uh, use the do while loop or maybe you can use a while loop but i can use a for loop or do while loop so for example i will uh, use the for loop for example so let's say uh, for for each loop you, you can use um, you can use for each loop and i will just copy this okay um, as uh, i will use that uh, um, sorry as a dollar post object I can I am not using the only post variable because sometimes it conflicts with the global variable so uh, it's based is a good way to use the custom uh, variables name instead of uh, using the global variable name just to avoid a confusion so I won't use the do object now I have a post object and for the get title I can simply pass the dollar uh, post object here okay and it will give me uh, uh, results so i will just simply remove this data and i will echo die statement okay so let's just recap quickly so i have i am just checking uh, whether we have a post variable or not okay and if we have then just simply echo uh, echo and die okay uh, and i we can also check whether if it's an uh, array or not so and is array Be to have a better error handling as well so that we can avoid the uh, uh, we can avoid any kind of PHP warnings or notices. Okay, so if it's not empty and if it's array, then it will go into the loop. Okay, and here I am not passing any arguments just because I just want to like me just pass the argument called uh, post type. I will fetch the post type movie post, for example. We have two movie posts exist, so I can use the, the movie. I have to pass the arguments array here. Okay. Okay, so now it will uh, display the movie post uh, title. Okay, so if I just go to here and refresh it, you can see the KGF chapter two and the push the rise. Okay, so based uh, uh, using this, you can manage the loop as well. So you don't have to rely on the dot post or have post or anything. Okay, and you can simply use the post properties and uh, and use the get the title. But uh, you, here you cannot use the dot title because it relies on the global post variable, and uh, the title not accept any uh, uh, post object or post uh, argument. So instead, use the get title, or you can use the get the uh, get underscore the underscore content. Okay, and this way you can avoid that kind of uh, problems with the looping or the global variable. So, so this will do not modify any global variable. So we are safe to use our loop and we can achieve uh, in the same way as a standard loop. Okay, so this, uh, this way is a better one. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so now this we have talked about the looping. Okay, so now uh, we have also checked about the conditional tags. Now we have also checked with the, how that uh, uh, request uh, uh, property have the entire SQL query created by the WordPress and that you can uh, you can basically learn with the WP query so let me just pass a WP query here okay so whenever you create a, a construct method uh, sorry okay so whenever you we create an object of the wp query uh, with the arguments it will create uh, call this w uh, query uh, query method and then it will perform initialization and then few other things you can go through it so this is uh, they will just unset the current uh, 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 properties and just set initialize the properties okay and then uh, sorry Okay, I, I forgot the shortcut about go back anyway. So yeah, and then in the query, you can see the get post. Okay, so in the get post, it will pass the query based on the arguments, it they will pass the query. And in this argument, you can see the pre get post from uh, action. So using this action, you can modify uh, the WP query uh, uh, arguments. Okay, 
so uh, you can you can you can use this action and it's a reference array so it will pass dollar this object in the reference way so you can directly modify this object uh properties uh, directly in, in your callback function we will see how we can use the pre get post function okay and uh, these are the uh, so you can see that um, then there is uh, a, a few other things it will do so you can go through it and it will uh, based on the arguments it will uh, it will construct the sql query so here you can see the where query based on the arguments we can pass and you, and it and it will simply just execute that query okay we have wp date query. there are multiple wp date query wp text query wp meta query wp user query okay these are the query classes uh, used by the wp query as well so if you want to fetch the users data uh, fetch uh, you can use the wp user query uh, or wp text print wp meta query used to construct the sql query uh, based on the meta and text query we have passed through the wp query arguments okay so so you can go through this and you can uh, learn what kind of filters and actions executed and how based on this argument we have passed uh, the sql query constructed and used to execute sql query and fetch the data okay so that that you can learn here okay see you on the next video jay workplace